Hi. Now, in the previous video, I showed you that dA by dt was dA dv by dv by dt. And we split dA by dv into dA dr times dr dv, which was a much easier route to take. But I did say at the time, you could actually, although I wouldn't recommend it, find dA dv if we can get a relationship between a and v, or v and a. And we can, but I'll show you how hard it is. If we take the equation here, a equals 4 pi r squared, and make r squared the subject, we would have r squared equals a divided by 4 pi. And then we could take the square root, and we would have r equals the square root of a over 4 pi. Now that would be the same as the square root of a all over the square root of 4 pi, which is going to be 2 root pi. And I could write this as a to the half and 2 and then pi to the half. Now I can substitute this into the volume equation. So therefore we would have v equals 4 thirds times pi times r cubed. Well, if I cube this, we've got a half here, so that's going to be 1 eighth if we cube that. We've got a to the half and pi to the half. And if you cube that, you're going to have a to the power 3 over 2 all over pi to the power 3 over 2. Now that I've got that, we can tidy this up and we've got, uh, what have we got? We've got the 4 cancels into the 8, that's 2. So we've got 1 sixth and as for the pi's, we're going to have pi to the power 1 here, pi to the power 3 over 2, so they're going to cancel, leaving me with pi to the power half in the denominator there. And then we've got a on top to the power 3 over 2. So, I've got v now in terms of a. And I should be able to find dv by dA. So, let's do that. So you've got 3 over 2 times 1 sixth, which comes out at a quarter. You've got pi to the half, that stays there, because that's a constant, and you drop the power of a by 1, so that's a to the power a half. So, now that we've got dv dA, we can now carry on with this formula, because dA dv will be 1 over this, which will be as if we turn it upside down. So that's going to be 4 pi to the half all over a to the power half. And then we've got times dv by dt, and we know that that's 150. So you can see this is still quite involved. And then we can tidy this up. We've got 4 times 150, so that's going to be 600. So we've got 600 pi to the half all over a to the half. Now, when r equals 6 centimeters, we're still not out of the woods yet because our formula hasn't got r in. It's got a in. So we need to get what a is going to be when r is 6. So we know that the area is going to be 4 pi r squared, so that's 4 times pi times r squared, so that's 6 squared or 36. And if you work that out, you're going to get 144 pi. So what we can do is now substitute this into here. So therefore, dA by dt is going to equal 600 pi to the half all over the square root of a. And if you square root 144 pi, you're going to get 12 pi to the half. And you can see that pi to the half cancels with this pi to the half. Now 600 divided by 12 goes 50 times. So dA by dt equals 
50 centimeter squares every second. So hopefully you can see how much more involved this method is compared to the earlier method I showed you. Okay, so that brings us now to the end of this example.